All right, I wanna talk about documentation. And I know documentation is not the funnest thing to talk about, but for this course, it's gonna be very important. So what I wanted to do was create kind of a central hub for everything that you might need to know about this course or learning different things outside of this course. Really just, again, a hub for everything that is this course. So I wanna talk through the documentation and just kind of where you can find it and how I built it out. So the first thing I wanna point out is that as you pull up the documentation now, it's gonna look a lot different than this because I'm creating, I've just created the documentation for this. This is really just a skeleton at this point. And there's probably gonna be a lot more by the time I finish this course off. So bear in mind, uh, just keep that in mind as we're going through this. So what I did was I used ASCII doc. If you've never heard of ASCII doc, it's a really great tool for writing documentation and using something like ASCII doctor to go ahead and generate an HTML file or uh, an ebook or anything like that. It's really great. So if you haven't had a chance, uh, go ahead and check it out. I'll put this in the resources in this documentation, but ASCII doc is really great. So where you can find this is here at this URL, therealdanvega.com slash springboot2docs. Again, this is the course Spring Boot 2, not Spring Boot 2 documentation, but our course here. And you'll also find it in the main repo. So we haven't talked about GitHub yet. We're going to do that in two sections here. We're going to talk about where the repo is. You know, we have a couple of different repos actually and where you can find stuff in there. But once we get to it, there is a source slash docs folder in there. And inside of there, in our, in our course directory, we have these ASCII docs files. So we have this index.adoc, and we basically turn that into an HTML file, which you can pull from there, or I basically uploaded it to my site so you can view it without having to clone the repo. So what are we gonna find in here? So first, just some course details, a little bit about the course, the prerequisites, requirements, curriculum, the project that we're gonna work on, and just any course assets, things that you might need to pull down. We'll have the GitHub repositories in here. So again, I talked about there's two re repos. Again, we'll talk about it when we get to the GitHub section, but if you ever need to, if you can't remember where those repos are, you can always come back to the documentation. Um, development environment, we just talked about that, but I wanna have like links to everything in here. So if you need to know how to install Java, whether it's from Oracle or from a tool like SDK Man, we're gonna have all that information here. Information about build tools and where you can learn more about them if you're kind of new to them. Uh, links to all the IDs and text editors that we mentioned. We have a section for what's new in spring. So if we jump down to what's new in spring, We'll have some what's new in Spring Framework 5, and we have a new what's new in Spring Boot 2. You can see an uh, image is already missing from there. But we'll have some information on all the new things that are, that are in both Spring Framework 5 and Spring Boot 2. Finally, we'll have some resources. So if we jump down to resources, we have some Spring documentation. I know sometimes people get lost, even I do. Um, where's the docs for this or that? Here we have everything. So the current version, which you'll need, uh, which is Spring Boot 2, so the Spring Boot uh, reference guide, the API, um, actuator, Gradle. And as I'm looking at this, I'm missing some of the Spring Framework 5 documentation. So I'm gonna reorganize this. But we'll have all the resources you need. I'm gonna put some books in here, websites, bloggers, uh, Twitter, people that you could follow to, to kind of follow up on this stuff. And anything that I can think of that's a resource for you, I'll kind of add it in here. And then there's my contact information as well. So this is the documentation for the course. Before you ask a question, chances are if I've gotten the question before, I'll add something in here. Again, that table of contents that you're looking at on the left is probably going to grow significantly as we go through the course. So I just wanted to share that with you. That's the course documentation. Please give it a read through or at least scan through it before you start moving on with the course. And with that, we're done with the intro. Let's go ahead and move on to the next section.